Well, I mean, I, I thought it was a fantastic initiative by Unilever last year. I really did, because it has frustrated me for quite a long time that I think that our industry has been relatively deaf to speaking to women in a way that is actually, you know, really engaging for them. I mean, as an example, how often do you see humour in an ad that is about a woman? Or an ad aimed at a woman, I should say. Very rarely. And yet we know that women have enormous humour and the first thing women do when they get together is laugh at themselves. You know, fantastic ability to do that. And yet those kinds of aspects of, of women ha have just never been represented. It's all very two-dimensional. Why not? Has there been male marketers trying to appeal to female consumers? Surely that's not happening in 2018. <laughs> oh, I'm sure that it'll, it's been happening in 2018, and it'll, it'll continue to be a challenge. I mean, we, we have been in an industry that has been too slow to diversify its, its workforce, to have a more representative mix of talent who are also knowledgeable about the people that our clients are, are uh, selling to and marketing to. And this is all, I think, incredibly refreshing. Um, I've, I've seen these changes happen over nearly 40 years in the business, but the change that we've seen in just the last few years has made the previous 20 look uh, pretty glacial. Cropping up here at Davos, and it's still midweek, has been a conversation around sustainability that a number of corporates need to prove their credentials to connect with consumers, particularly millennials who care about impact. How big a feature will this be for some of the campaigns that you're both working on this year? Well, I think, again, I think this falls into the, the bracket of what, what do companies stand for? And they're going to have to communicate that, and that's going to have to be reflected it in an ad or, you know, in a social media campaign that we might be doing or events we might be doing, whatever. And, you know, again, in the case of Unilever, sustainability is a huge goal of that company. They've put a lot of effort into it. They're going to want to be able to communicate about that. For another company, that might not be the, the primary thing that they want to stand up for. I think now good governance is upon most respectable companies to pursue sustainability in some way, shape or form. But whether that's something that they really want to communicate as a core value and belief, I think that's another matter. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.